I laid it down was the fact that I stood both feet on the ground and had my hand on the Did front. you just say you laid it down and then you want to go home and ride my bike? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Can you, does it make it seem a little bit easier now to go to class tomorrow just by doing that little bit? Not really, just because I was kind of already comfortable, more comfortable than like driving the truck or anything like that. But it's mostly because I've like ridden on the back a lot of times and I've also like faked it by like sitting on the front end of the bike and just sit there, you know, like while my parents are off doing stuff. People come by and be like, is that your bike? And I'll be like, no, but it's my parents so I can sit on it. <laughs> you know, like that's all cool when people walk up to you and you're like, is that your bike? But I was super young, so now I get my own. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Well, someday you'll buy your own. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Someday she'll buy her own. How many bikes do you have? Um, I have four. You have zero. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I, I will have if I buy another one. I will have five, and you will still have zero. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will have a plethora of options to choose from to ride. I told I told her that you you were making her buy her helmet. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I already kind of knew that. Th that's fair. That's fair. Come on, guys! I literally let her use my bike. I bought her car for her, and I paid for the course. Her buying her helmet, I think. I choose a better helmet anyway. Comment if you agree below. <laughs> Welcome to the backyard of the Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle. <laughs> I'm Angie Mama Badger and I'm in the middle of putting this video together for Baby Badger. If you hadn't heard of Baby Badger, who is 17, going to be 18 here in March, March of 2021, is going through the Harley Davidson Riding Academy at Burt's Black Widow Harley Davidson. The course is uh, basically geared towards beginners, but not necessarily for beginners. It's a good course to take. It will actually help her be able to get her endorsement at the end of it. We are on her journey right now. If you did not see our last video, go check that out. This video starts out with Nerdy Badger and going to her birthday dinner, which just happens to be at the Twisted Fork there at Burt's Black Widow Harley Davidson. She was supposed to take this course with her, with Baby Badger, um, turning 20, but due to work was unable to do so. Have fun, enjoy, here you go. Let's get that party started. It just happens to be Dirty Badger's birthday behind me. She doesn't like to get videos. Well, you're used to like, and like they feel like they're gonna fall off. Yes, we're going to get in line. All right, we're going to get in line. Happening out there. If you don't know this guy, then you're missing out. I doubt it. I doubt it. But <laughs> come see us. <laughs> they're gonna see you for the world record poker run. On... Absolutely. Yes. We can't wait. Registration starts on Monday, so we're excited to see who all registers. But we're here for Baby Badgers and Nerdy Badger. Baby Badger, Dirty Badger has her 20th, and Bert just came out here because he's. I'd say hello. Yeah, he's around, guys. So you just need to look for him, and he'll shake your hand and say hi, right? Hi. So <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much, Bert. We're excited. Thanks for letting us be here Thank for you our for big coming. event. Thank All right. You. <laughs> Thank you. 
How long? Like seven hours. You have fun? Not really. I Are mean, you a biker now? You have like a certain amount of space. Like I mean like literally this is probably the space. And they're like, okay, shift into second gear. You get into second gear and you have to automatically get out of second gear. So it's like a, oh shit, shift down, pulling clutch. Oh shit, forgot clutch stall. <laughs> <laughs> Neutral. Not even. Oh, and so then when you're parked, you can't even get it in neutral. We're all sitting there like. First second, first second, yeah, exactly. Like back and forth. And we're like, there's no neutral. In the middle of driving, all of us hit neutral. We're like, there it is. <laughs> when we don't need it, we hit neutral. Welcome to the biker lifestyle. Oh. Hey, sweetheart. So you got, you got sore hands? Yeah. Like my thumbs, they're not as bad as I thought they'd be. The clutch on the one that I'm using is so much easier than V-Rod. So much easier. I was like, I'm a fucking hate this. Well, the V-Rod's a real bike. I mean, but it like hurts. <laughs> but it hurts to like to just hold it there. At times, even if they didn't like know and they were paying attention to someone else, I'd kick it into neutral and let go of the clutch. And I'm like, okay, time to go. <laughs> Are you ready for tomorrow? <laughs> ready to get your license? You guys ready to go home and help me practice some more? Because your girl can't do any turns. <laughs> so, oh, going straight. Is the swerving, like the, and that was, that's where I laid it down. Because I was thinking about it. They're like, yeah, look ahead. I was like, okay, I'll look ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like pure. But it was so much, because like, how I laid it down was the fact that I stuck both feet on the ground and had my hand on the brake. Did you just say you laid it down and then you want to go home and ride my bike? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. What a great question. For Des and any of you watching, what is the number one thing you should do in case you are in an accident? I'm going to throw it over to Carmen with the Sunshine State Biker Lawyer. What do we do, Carmen? Okay, the first thing you want to do is secure the area and call the police. Now. When we're talking about motorcycle accidents, you've got to be real careful because as the bikers are either driving together or if you're driving solo and you get hit, you may not be able to do these things for yourself, but at least being able to instruct people what to do to help you is the most important thing. So number one, call the police immediately and get an investigation going on this. Awesome. Thanks for the quick response. We appreciate it. If you are out there and you are looking for an attorney in your state that you can trust, well, we've got some we know, like, and trust, and they are on the map at supportbikers.com. But, um, it wasn't even like a lay down. Like, they're like, she didn't even get hurt by that. Because I literally felt the weight of the bike at the time that I was trying to figure out how to keep it from stalling because I had the clutch on and the brake. And so I pressed the brake all of a sudden, but it was turned. So I wasn't squared. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot heavier mm -hmm. and I was trying to keep it from stalling. So I was focusing on all these other points that I forgot between my legs is a big thing. <laughs> and so it just kind of like, and I went, okay, we're going down. And I just kind of laid it down. And so I was like, you know, straight. You great. forgot the motorcycle was between your legs? <laughs> it was between your legs? <laughs> I was focused on so many other things. The clutch, the brake, yeah. the Apparently, we were supposed to be using the back brakes the whole time, and we all looked at each other like, you would use the back brake? They're like, no, we don't use the back brake. We're like, yeah, we used the black back brake. <laughs> None of us were using it. Then we started using the back brake and the front brake. And we're like, okay. Because, like, for the first half, they don't really tell you, like, your feet wise or anything like that. So, of course, my foot's, like, over the top instead of, like, where I would angle it under so that I would be able to hit it up to second. So, when we first started, like, oh, yeah, we want you guys to get to second. And, like, <laughs> I know, She's you time. I know, I know her right here. <laughs> we gotta get on a boat to get out of here. You're going? No, we gotta go. All right. We're trying to focus on our feet. They're like, no, look ahead. And we're like, looking ahead, not trying to figure out. She's going through a course right now. That's awesome. My wife Tammy, she drives on bikes. She crashed four bikes in one year. So now she just wants to ride on the back of mine. So I'm like, come on. Uh, look, look, he's still video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah.
All right. my experience. Like the tight man. ones like this, like you go like this, oh yeah, I'm like, you got this. Then you get Were to you like the, the first bigger or second? one. Alright, so, 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 so like you need to go home and ride the bicycle. Well, yeah, I told that. So you can get familiar with it. Yeah, it's the same. That's why. I, know. I mean, it's literally the same. I know. I'm like really good with a bicycle. Don't get me wrong. Okay, but you're overthinking. <laughs> yeah. If you would imagine it as a bicycle. I guess it's the weight to me. The weight is weird. It's different. It's, it's a heavy bicycle. So like, yeah. when like I get worried, so I want to always yes. straighten out that's, instead of that's it. Do you worry about the bike when you go ride the bike? And don't worry about this. It's not yours. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yay! As <laughs> I just fall completely over. And she goes off the cliff. No, because this girl, they're like, yeah, we'll demonstrate it for you. Well, they're reading from, from a manual. It's like, duh, 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 duh. we're all standing while I'm looking back and forth. We're like waiting for the demo because we know the demo's coming. They're like, okay, the demo. Girls just riding around smoothly. We're like, damn, that looks easy. It's not easy. <laughs> But he thought I was taking off, so he like jumped out of the way. I was like, hey, you gotta go. Bye, guys. Can you go with him? See ya. Bye. That guy right there, he bought us a beer. <laughs> Gave us a beer. Sunscreen's definitely a must. Sunscreen and sunscreen. <laughs> And don't cry after you jump the bike. Let me see the face. Did you cry? No. Did we see the face? But I almost. So one thing we I'm, forgot to mention. So is sunscreen. <laughs> I'm thinking just a tad bit. <laughs> All right, we'll add that to the list. No, there's others. She's a true badger. She's got the badger. Yes, she does. She looks like a badger. <laughs> she does look like a badger. Yep. <laughs> I'm learning hey, it. Baby badger looks like a badger. Yep. Okay. You a badger. Go back to life now. <laughs> now let's just hope I pass tomorrow. Me too. You will. They were looking at me like, a, you're would... doing great. And I'm like, don't lie to my face. <laughs> because I would hate for you have to do this next week. <laughs> Wait, if I failed like the writing portion, do I have to, I can retake it, right? Yeah. You still have to retake it. I know you got to go through the course again. Uh, oh. <laughs> Pass the written and then all you have to do is do the writing. No, I've not done the written yet. I know, but if you pass, if you don't pass the writing, at least pass the written. The next time, all you have to do is go in and do your writing. I just the thing is, they give you a certain amount of time, and yes, we took a lot of freaking time, but it's only like two revolutions, so I only go through it twice. So the fact that I'm like trying to get it the first two times, I'm finding new strategies, and then all of a sudden we're moving on to something else doesn't help me because I'm the type of person that does it and does it and does it until she gets it and finds her own strategy of getting it through. The second day is better. Uh, sweetie, your food's up here in the gym. You want some food? What? I said you want some food. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's starving. Tomorrow, take care. Stay tuned. <laughs>